Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another drugstore haul for you all. I did pick up a few things recently so I thought that I would share those with you. So yeah, if you want to see what I bought then just keep watching. NYX. Oh my god. Um, I picked up the NYX eyebrow kit because I'm trying to find more drugstore. Drug style? What? <laughs> drugstore eyebrow products to try. So I thought that this one would be a good addition to my collection. This is in the shade dark brown slash brown and it's just their eyebrow powder and it basically comes with a little wax and then two brow powders which I'm actually really really enjoying. I've only used it probably three or four times but I'm really really enjoying it so far. Okay I don't own anything from Chi Chi so I thought that I would experiment with that brand just a little bit so I did pick up a few things. I picked up the Chi Chi single eyeshadow in the shade I'm Every Woman and I don't know like I picked it up purely for contouring but in store I swatched the tester and it's so pigmented so buttery and so smooth at like so many different Chi Chi counters would you call them a counter or a stand I don't know but like they're so pigmented but this one isn't so pigmented like I have it swatched on my hand which looks pigmented but then it doesn't transfer that well like I guess that's not too bad but once you actually have it on a brush and you're trying to blend it onto your face it's not that pigmented and I'm not too sure why but I'll definitely play around with this a little bit more maybe I just need to rub off the first layer and then it's more pigmented I don't know but we'll see then also from Chi Chi I did pick up two lip liners because a lot of people have been raving about these recently um, so I decided to pick some up. I bought the shade It Girl, which is this one here. I'll swatch it for you. It's basically just a nice nude shade. So it's that one there. And then I also picked up the shade Moulin Rouge. And I don't know any red lip liners. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. Sorry. I am wearing this on the outer parts of my lips today. And then I do have a lipstick... Milani lipstick in the shade Hot Pink Rage. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice again. Oh my god, sorry. Yeah, I have this on and I have this to line my lips and I'm really, really liking it. It's like a subtle ombre. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but whatever. I can tell, kind of. <laughs> but yeah, so I've used these a few times now and I really quite enjoy them. They are really, really good quality, especially for the price. I think they're only about $9.95 each, which I think is amazing. So I did pick up three Australis Color Inject lipsticks or moisture mineral lipsticks rather so I bought three shades this one I'm obsessed with this is the shade grunge seriously guys look at it is it not just so beautiful let me swatch it sorry if you can hear any background noise I think the um, Air Force is testing planes near my house whatever um, so that's grunge there and then I also picked up gangster rap which I just think is the cutest name ever and I haven't had a chance to wear that yet, but I will soon, don't worry. And then the last one is Ballet, which is just that one on the end there. The only thing I don't like about these lipsticks is the smell. They smell like grandma. Not my grandma, but that grandma smell, like super scented, like perfumey. I don't know. Like if you if you smell these, I, there is a really, really high chance we'll know what I'm talking about. Not beauty related, but I did pick up a Tony and Guy Creative Hairspray. This is Extreme Hold Hairspray. Uh, Extreme Hold my... Mm. I use this when I curled my hair, and no joke, by the end of the day, I had basically straight hair. Like, what the hell? The only plus side to this was there was no residue left in my hair, which I guess is a good thing, but it didn't hold at all. So, I don't know. I'll give it a few more tries, but so far I'm not impressed. I did pick up two mascaras. This one's by Maybelline. This one's by Covergirl. This is a repurchase. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Black Drama. I wanted to pick up just the original Falsies with the blue writing, but they were sold out and I was so bummed. But whatever. This is what the wand looks like. I, you've probably seen it before. like. And then the second mascara is the Covergirl Flamed Out Mascara. Now, this one I'm not super happy with. This is the shape of the brush. I don't know, like the formula is so dry and like the product doesn't really get on my eyelashes. I don't know, but so far I'm not loving it. So, and it smells. That smelled so bad and I never even realized. 
So the next product I've literally been eyeing out for the longest, longest, longest time, but it's always either sold out or opened and used. So I finally was able to pick up one that wasn't used. So yay. Um, it's the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator in the shade 100 Bare Light. Basically, it's just a liquid illuminator. If I can open it. Packaging is just really, really standard. It's just a squeeze tube. And I'll just show you a little bit. So it comes out as a little liquid, if you can see that little dollop there. And you basically just shear it out on your face. And it just gives your skin the most amazing, amazing glow. I haven't used this in a tutorial yet, I don't think. But I definitely will soon. If not soon, then definitely before summer. Because I think this will look amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> I think that was a whole lot of ramble and not a lot of information. Sorry. Three lipsticks from Maybelline. So, I... The, next, the first two you probably would have already seen, but this is the Maybelline Bold Matte Lipstick in the shade number 7 and also in the shade number 6. This is number 7. I used it in my Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. And this is what it looks like. So that's what it looks like up there. And then also the shade matte number 6, which I think is just like a sophisticated dark red. They do have a different red there, but I don't know. I just felt like this one, I didn't have anything like it. And... These don't have the typical Maybelline smell, which I really enjoy that it doesn't have. And then I also picked up one of the Maybelline Nude Lipsticks. This is in the shade Naked Brown. And I've been wanting this for ages, so I finally picked it up. But it has that Maybelline lipstick smell. Like that super sweet vanilla -y smell. It kind of makes me a bit sick, but whatever. I can put up with it. It's a colour that counts. So, yeah, it's just this colour here. The reason why I actually do like it is because it is a little bit sheer, so you can build it up to the intensity that you want. But either way, it's so, so beautiful, and I really want to do a tutorial with that very, very soon. And then, last two products. This one's from Maybelline again. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24-Hour Concealer. I bought mine in the shade Ivory. Hmm. I've used this probably about four times so far, and I don't know, I'm not digging it. But, I don't know, I'll give it a bit more of a chance and I'll update you very soon. I think I got tongue-tied there. I'll update you very soon. <laughs> and then I had to buy a foundation because my last drugstore haul, I didn't buy a foundation, so I needed to buy one this time. So I picked up the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation in the shade Medium Beige. Looks like this. We'll do a first impression on it soon. I swear it should be the same as my Max Factor one. But we will see when I do the first impressions, I guess. So yeah, I'm so, so excited. I think this is probably the most exciting thing for me in the whole haul because I'm obsessed with foundations, if you haven't noticed. So yeah, um, that's it, guys. That's all that's in my lovely box of drugstore goodies. So yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.